The world is on a path to the future. Many have seen it for hundreds of years, but here we are finally see it come to fruition. Flying cars, anyone? From secret agent style motorcycles to the radical new changes that will affect the entire industry of flight, here are 15 of the most unusual flying vehicles that will change the world. PAL 5 The time has come for the first legal flying car to hit the skies, at least in Europe. The flying mobile, dubbed the Liberty, is a three-wheeler with impressive power under the hood. If that's the analogy we'll continue to use in the age of flying cars. They made it three-wheel because they wanted to save weight because it was easier to street certify than a four-wheeled variant. While cruising along in road mode, it's as basic a vehicle as you can get. When this thing takes off, however, it truly shines. It'll undoubtedly turn heads wherever you go, or at least crank them upward. The folded top rotor and large retracted tail fins give it the aesthetic of a race car for some weird rocket-propelled sport of the future. Under the hood sits a powerful 100-horsepower engine, which might not seem like much, but with the weight and aerodynamics combined create quite a bit of power. The company says it maxes out at 100 miles per hour and can accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour in less than 9 seconds. That's quite an accomplishment for a vehicle that wasn't designed primarily for the road. While airborne, its rotor unfolds and spins like a helicopter. While it has the ability to both drive and fly, it can't do so at the same time. That's to say, it can't be driving and switch to take off mid-drive. For flight mode to initiate, the car must be entirely stopped. Sorry to disappoint all your secret agent fantasies. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. The world is on the verge of pretty incredible space travel tech. Most of it's been under wraps for who knows how long but they're slowly and steadily emerging and dazzling the world with their purposes. From colonization trips to Mars to rockets that can return from where they were launched, it really seems the world is gearing up for some exciting space travel opportunities. Take this photo for instance. While it hit the internet without any context, even the most stubborn critics are hard pressed to call this thing fake. Whatever it may be, it's some kind of spacecraft, a vessel that can finally reach the deepest parts of our ocean a power source for a giant mech to fight off equally as giant monsters. Whatever it is, it has future tech written all over it. Know what this is? Have a clue? Let us know what you think in the comments by using hashtag missing topic. Hey hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Ex Turismo Hoverbike if you have six figures just lying around and already have all the sports cars you can imagine, maybe you'd opt for this hover bike that can travel up to 62 miles per hour in the air. This impressive piece of technology comes from Japan, where they're betting that people in the luxury world are ready for these personal flying vehicles. The limited first edition, which goes by the name of X Turismo, is on sale for the high sky price of approximately $680,000. If you want to get noticed driving the latest and greatest tech, this is the beast to own. It's powerful, stylish, and sure is checking all those flying fantasy boxes that you might have. The company is a Tokyo-based drone maker that has the backing of several celebrities. The goal is for this prototype to get applied to a wider range of industries and fields. <laughs> Aeromobile It's safe to assume that future cars won't look a thing like the past or even today. Heck, take a look back at the design of cars just 50 years ago and they're easy to tell them apart. While many sci-fi tales have shown us flying Cadillacs with little distinction from their road-driven counterparts, the truth is likely going to be something much different and difficult in design. These things have to fly, after all, which means certain factors that were taken into account before must be in order to fly safe. The design of the road auto is made with safety on the ground in mind, not for the air. That means the design of the future flying vehicles will likely look radically different than anything like a car. They'll probably resemble more plane than car in some instances. The more recent example of this, dubbed the Aeromobile, is equipped with an advanced automotive structure fashioned from composite materials. It's said to combine the car's endless functionality and an airplane and a unified platform, all based on a computer system intelligent enough to assist the pilot in flight. A unique carbon cradle system was created to protect these vital brain components. 
Each wing includes a folding structure and control surfaces with flaps for smoother flying. <laughs> Terrafugia There are tons of prototype of flying cars out there, all with a certain niche of market that they're trying to cover. While some are busy inventing the newest energy for vehicles, others have turned to the skies for inspiration. It's essential to start thinking of these vehicles as two separate. That's, they'll probably never fully replace the road automobile. Maybe another 2,000 years down the road, but for the foreseeable future, they're classified as two separate types. They'll require their own special licenses. Who knows even then if there will be a general population scale of the product. The company, Terrafugia, wants to bring that far-off dream and make it a reality today. They've done this with their second-generation model, dubbed the TFX, which the company calls the flying car for all of us. The four-seat air vehicle features a hybrid powertrain that operates both its wheels when on the ground and two electrically driven rollers for flight mode. It's capable of vertical takeoff and landing, making this baby one of the best to hit the market. Thus far, it can travel over 410 miles at over 100 miles per hour. Impressive. Mm -hmm. Speeder Flying Motorcycle The company Jetpack Aviation just recently introduced their incredible speeder, a flying motorcycle that's expected to be commercially ready by 2023. It was initially designed as a flying vehicle for the military and rescue operations. Now, it even comes as a recreational variant with a fully functioning VTOL vertical takeoff and landing system. This thing can effectively lift off from anywhere and land just as easily. The best part, it only takes up the space of a small car, so you can always find space somewhere on the road. And if not, there's always the roof. I bet no one has parked up there yet. Although the original design project had only four turbines, the final product will have eight two at each corner of the bike to provide safety through redundancy and help instill a sense of faith and trust in the company and the vehicle itself. If people don't feel safe driving them, no one will. The company currently has a deal with Prometheus Fuels to use their incredible 100% zero net carbon gas. <laughs> Lexus Hoverboard Lexus created the world's first real hoverboard. If you haven't seen this incredible footage, check it out. The best part is it's all real. Sure, there are some tricks being utilized there, but it's indeed floating, and that person is indeed riding it. If this doesn't hit every Back to the Future fanboy's nerve, the project was actually a demonstration Lexus put on to show off one of their most exciting new technologies. The luxury car company has worked with experts in superconductive technology to create this one-of-a-kind, most advanced hoverboard the world has ever witnessed. The concept is the fourth project in the Amazing in Motion campaign, demonstrating the company's unrelenting commitment to pursuing new possibilities in advanced technology. How the heck did they pull off something like this? The team utilized magnetic levitation with liquid nitrogen-cooled superconductors and permanent magnets both in the board and ground to give it that frictionless movement previous thought impossible. Air alone can't provide this sort of stability so you can really see that magnetic tech going to work. Air Car The Slovakian engineering company Kleinvision has recently released some footage of its newest air vehicle performing some incredible stunts. Before this drop, the project was assumed trashed thanks to a lack of communication and secrecy from the project team. Turns out they were holding their cards close to the chest for a reason. With how hot and competitive the market is for flying vehicles, you can't blame them for wanting their secrets to get out. While many other companies were busy churning up ideas how to market and gain international attention for the project, the Kleinvision Group was putting their minds to work to get that thing flying. Reports later surfaced that they weren't planning to show anything off until they had a working product that would dazzle any observed. And they've done it. Dubbed the Air Car V5, can shift from road vehicle into air vehicle with the flip of a switch, and in just minutes. Nothing of this speed and transformation had been accomplished before this release, so they really brought another level to the playing field. Needless to say, it pushed their competitive edge into overhaul. The car, which was designed by Professor Stefan Klein, had completed two 1500 AGL flights to the airport in Slovakia. That's to say two full airport patterns, including takeoffs and landings, that's remarkable progress, especially from a company that came back to life out of nowhere. <laughs> Flying Jet Ski 
In a sidestep from the traditional road air transformation, the Fly Nano seeks to corner a different market, the one of water air transformation. Like the hoverbikes mentioned earlier, this is a jet ski plane hybrid that finds itself in the middle of a heated battle of market share. At least they have their own niche. A pilot's license is not required to fly the aircraft, however, it's not recommended for beginners to flying which should be common sense. You have to know how to drive on the air in order to do it safely. It has an electric motor sitting under the hood and can top out at a whopping 100 miles per hour in the air or sea. The best part of it all? It isn't nearly as expensive as some of the many other hybrids on today's list. This thing will run you a cool $40,000. Sure, it's not cheap, but you won't have to take a mortgage out if you're dying to own one. That price is an estimate, and a final price will be set when a final product is achieved. It may be some time before we see anything any lower than this price. <laughs> Joby Taxi Rideshare companies were one of the first to invest and develop technology for autonomous vehicles. It's unsurprising that they too are one of the first to invest in aero-autonomous vehicles. The likes of rideshare companies have been pouring money into the development of air vehicle technologies so that their fleet of vehicles will hit market first. Just imagine pulling out your phone and ordering a ride in one of these drones. Flying crafts lands at your front door. Joby Aviation, a California-based aerospace company, is working with Uber to create an electric aviation fleet of taxis for the state to utilize in the near future. Joby is the first company to officially commit to the rideshare giant's aggressive timetable to launch its completely usable flying service by 2023. They seem to be making incredible progress and have released fascinating images of their remarkable vehicles in action. The future is truly upon us. Unlike the plethora of other companies out there constructing electric vetoes, Joby has kept much of its project under wraps and out of the public eye, for much of the same reason others did so mentioned earlier. The few renderings of their craft out there display a drone hybrid with 12 rotors and a massive cockpit that can fit up to four passengers. A company spokesperson cautioned that what the team is working on now is entirely new and looks nothing like the renders and prototypes anyone has ever seen and will revolutionize the industry. We've got to just wait and see. <laughs> drone racers. It was only a matter of time before the drone races would start to pop up. It seems that today is that day. In what looks like some sort of flying F1 car, this 12-rotor multi-copter can pull off some amazing stunts like barrel rolls and sharp turns. It's reminiscent of a space fighter plane from one of those sci-fi tales you know and love. Constructed by Drone Champions AG to promote its Drone Champions League video game, this full-sized, full-carbon airframe, fully operational air car with six arms is unlike anything else on today's list. This thing was constructed without a pilot in mind and just shows off how incredible drone technology really is and easily scalable. A central seat can carry a passenger, not a pilot, as this drone is built to be flown from the ground by trained racing pilots over remote control alone. It could be one day where taxi drivers are sitting at their computers and piloting their vehicles around town instead of actually driving them. This has serious implications for the state of the future and what's possible. Ehang. Just a few years back, a Chinese-based company unveiled the amazing Ehang 184 at CES. It was met with less than ideal crowd reaction and the project was thought shelved and forgotten. You'd be forgiven for thinking it was yet another company pushing out some headline-grabbing product that would never see the light of day. At CES, many new tech companies do this to stand out amongst the giants that exhibit there. While it seemed like the Ehang was destined for failure, it's here to stay. The prototype is attempting to defy all the naysayers by releasing the first ever footage showing the vehicle transporting humans. All of this coming after a time the project was thought doomed. It shocked the industry and those following the drone world. Some 40 passengers were filmed enjoying the aerial trip, including the deputy mayor of Guangzhou and Ehang founder and CEO Hua Ji Hu. How did they manage to keep such tight wraps on their project? There's footage showing the drone efficiently handling both clear and heavy weather conditions with ease. Even the most talked about vehicles can't do that yet. According to the company, the 184 is capable of carrying a single person at up to 80 miles per hour and is durable enough to withstand four seven typhoon conditions in flight. 
The CEO said the most important part of it all is that people feel safe while operating their vehicles. Super Guppy Will this plane even make it off the ground? Is that even a plane? That is precisely what air traffic controllers were worried about and why they notified police and fire departments to be ready on the first trial of the prototype takeoff. Dubbed the Super Guppy, this flying craft is wild and named so for obvious reasons, its uncanny resemblance to a fish. It turns out everything they were worried about was for naught. The craft and the takeoff itself defied all expectations of what it was capable of. It was in 1962 that the bizarre new aircraft took to the skies near Los Angeles and it had all in wonder gawking at the skies as it flew on by. This moment ushered in an age of aircraft design, all the bizarre looking guppy in mind. Looks more like a UFO than a human made aircraft, but even that definition is subjective. People who observed the original flight claimed it moved like an airship of science fiction than a modern airplane. Modern for the times at least. Despite being 50 years old, this hybrid plane still transports cargo with flawless efficiency, making it one of the best designed aircraft ever constructed, even outmatching the legendary C-5 Galaxy. <laughs> Lockheed Martin Airship It might look like a blimp, but this thing surpasses most modern aircraft by tenfold. The Lockheed Martin P-791 is an experimental aerostatic hybrid airship what a mouthful, developed for maximum cargo and personal transportation. The first flight took place in January 2006 at the company's secret test facility at the Palmdale Air Force Base. As a hybrid airship, part of the weight of the craft itself and its payload are supported by buoyant lift, while the rest of the weight is supported by aerodynamic lift. The combination of these two lifts is a genius attempt to benefit from both the high speed of aerodynamics and the lifting capacity of aerostatics. It takes the best of both worlds and maximum outputs them both thanks to the other. This could change the way flight occurs in the future. White Knight 2 We all know there are few giants out there racing to make the first and best spaceship, and the Virgin Company, with their Virgin Galactic Department, are seeking just as much. You can't deny the impressive ships these engineers are managing to turn out. The company utilizes the reusable Spaceship 2 space flight system. Within this reusable system is something known as White Knight 2, a custom-built carrier aircraft. The point of this vehicle was not to travel to space itself, but to launch others off into the stars. Essentially, these giant planes would carry the ships to whatever altitude was required, drop them off, and return to landing. The huge size of the plane requires an equally large landing spot. The Inflato Plane As well as their famous blimps, the Goodyear Company constructed military aircraft under license many years ago. Their most efficient construction was probably that of the legendary Vought Corsair. Their real plans were to build rubber airplanes, and in the 50s, they finally got that opportunity. The U.S. Army was seeking new ideas and sponsored development of various different military projects, one including the Inflato Plane, otherwise known throughout history as the Inflato Bird. The tire company claimed it was suitable for all types of Army field operations, particularly stealth reconnaissance. It could be folded and packed into a 44 cubic foot container and transported with ease. One proposed use was to drop the container behind enemy lines so downed pilots could inflate them and fly themselves to safety. Testing of a single and two-seat version carried on into the 1970s, but with the war over, no use was found for them, and they were discontinued forever. Mm-hmm. <laughs>